bending in pockets, and broken software updates? It's not a good week for the new iPhones. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Apple released an update to its iOS 8 mobile operating system on Wednesday, but instead of fixing bugs, it caused bigger problems. Some iPhone 6 owners reported that after downloading the 8.0.1 update, their phones could no longer connect to cell networks. It also broke the Touch ID fingerprint scanner, so pretty much turned the iPhone into an iPod. This problem seems to have only affected the new iPhone models, and Apple pulled the update shortly after going live. Apple released iOS 8 a week ago, and since then there have been several reported glitches and problems with battery life and Wi-Fi connections. This update was designed to patch some of those bugs. And if that wasn't bad enough for Apple, there's another controversy sweeping social media. Several iPhone 6 Plus owners say it's easy to accidentally bend the aluminum frame of the extra large phone. Photos posted online show a slight warp in the thin frame after people sat with the phone in their front pants pocket. Of course, anything can bend and break if you sit on it, but with such a thin aluminum frame, the iPhone 6 models could be more susceptible to damage. Let this be a warning to use protection, put a case on your phone, or instead of jamming it into your pants, there's always the option of the hip daddy belt clip, or maybe you want to go with more of an old school holster. And there's another phone out there that claims to not bend so easily, the new BlackBerry Passport. BlackBerry is at it again with a new phone, but this time it's begging to get your attention and win back your love with an unusual oh-so-square shape. Since you can see more on a widescreen, it hopes that you'll find square to be hip for doing more work. BlackBerry fans always love physical keys, but it's not as easy to type on this as older BlackBerrys, and it's too wide to use with one hand. The keyboard does have an interesting trick it's touch sensitive so you can use it to scroll. The big problem with BlackBerry is the lack of popular apps that you normally find on Apple and Android devices. To answer that problem, you can download Android apps from the Amazon App Store, but that still leaves you limited. BlackBerry has yet another twist. If you carry around a second phone or tablet, even if it's an iPhone or Android phone, it created this app called BlackBerry Blend. You can check your emails, texts, calendar, and other documents across multiple devices. But these days, not many companies are giving you a work phone. People are using their personal phones for work, and when you only get one phone, you don't tend to buy BlackBerry. Times are changing, and BlackBerry is still struggling to fit in with today's mobile needs. That's your tech news update. You can learn more at CNET.com. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.